Acts 16. The book of Acts begins by saying that this is an account of the ongoing work of Jesus. And so here in Acts 16, we see Jesus very actively at work with his people. And now he is not sitting passively in heaven, leaving it to us to work out, as it were, how best to serve him. No. But to be a Christian is to be actively involved with Jesus in a mutual two-way relationship, to be workers together with him. We read how Paul and Silas then were went all through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. They tried to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not permit them. So they came down to Troas, and a vision appeared to Paul. In the night there was a man of Macedonia standing, urging him and saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. And he said, When we'd seen the vision, immediately, immediately we sought to go into Macedonia concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. Setting sail, therefore, from Troas, we made a straight course, with the wind behind them, that means, to Samothrace, and the day following, to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi. Although Paul was living a life of devotion to Jesus and had received the Holy Spirit, his path in life was not clear to him. He at least twice here encounters closed doors. He wanted to go somewhere to preach, but was stopped by Jesus. We also don't have any clear road map in life. We all want stability to know where we're going in the short term and the longer term. But the Christian life is a journey. Abraham is our example, our father in faith. He left his home not knowing where he was going. We're all to be travellers, even if you live all your life in the house in which you were born and you never travel more than 10 miles from that village. That's okay. But spiritually, you are on a journey, and we must be prepared for that. The important thing is to say yes straight away. That's what parents want from their children, isn't it? Yes straight away. Paul sets a good example here. Immediately, he got the call to preach in Macedonia. He got on a boat there. And Luke adds that we made a straight course there. That is, the wind was blowing in exactly the right direction, and the boat made the journey really quickly. Well, remember that the Hebrew word for spirit is the same word as the word for wind, ruach. And Luke several times points out that Paul had a good wind behind him on parts of his journeys. So this will happen in your life. God will direct you in a certain way, maybe a way of service, perhaps a way of understanding or being. Perceive it, be quick to follow it. And you will find the wind of the spirit will, as it were, be at your back, propelling you onwards. A man is never better than when he's going God's way, doing God's work with God very clearly behind him.